The transportation sector, an indispensable component of the global supply chain, is currently navigating a critical juncture. It faces the daunting task of balancing its crucial operational role with the need to adapt to stringent environmental regulations designed to reduce carbon emissions. This evolving landscape has cast a spotlight on the trucking industry, revealing the profound challenges it faces in complying with these new mandates. Central to the issue is a noticeable disconnect between the policymakers who craft these environmental directives and the truckers who bear the brunt of their implementation. Louis Pugh, representing the interests of small business truckers, has raised significant concerns over the push towards electrification of the trucking fleet. According to Pugh, the current trajectory of environmental regulations could potentially marginalize many within the industry. The transition to electric vehicles, EVs, as it stands, lacks a comprehensive consideration of the practical challenges and financial viability of such a monumental shift. The government's ambitious targets further compound these concerns. With aims to electrify 60% of urban delivery trucks and 25% of long-haul trucks by 2032, the feasibility of achieving such goals is met with skepticism by those within the trucking community. The path to electrification is riddled with infrastructural and operational challenges, chief among them being the Herculean task of establishing 100.4 million new EV charging stations over the next eight years. This would necessitate the deployment of approximately 15,000 stations every month, a rate that many consider unrealistic given the current state of infrastructure development and funding. Beyond the logistical challenges lie broader economic and safety concerns. The rapid shift towards electric trucks threatens significant financial implications, not just for individual truckers, but also for the Highway Trust Fund and the broader economic landscape. Safety issues such as the risk of electric trucks running out of power in critical situations or under adverse weather conditions present severe risks for drivers, potentially leading to catastrophic outcomes. The industry's reaction, led by voices like Louis Pugh's, is predominantly one of opposition. The consensus among truckers suggests that the regulatory measures fail to account for the tangible impacts on their livelihoods and the operational realities of the industry. This skepticism is not only directed at the impracticality of the proposed changes, but also at the overarching feasibility of the government's electrification targets. The dialogue surrounding these issues concludes with a call for a more balanced and considerate approach to the implementation of environmental regulations within the trucking industry. This approach must carefully weigh environmental objectives against economic considerations and human factors, ensuring that the shift towards cleaner energy sources does not undermine those who are integral to the functioning of the supply chain. The conversation highlights the essential need to involve all stakeholders in the planning process, crafting strategies that are both environmentally sustainable and economically viable. By doing so, the journey towards a greener future can be a collaborative effort, ensuring that the road ahead is one that accommodates the needs and realities of all involved.